Hi fellow birdies and welcome back to the channel. Yep, in yep. today's video, we are at a local restaurant called Pops Comfort Kitchen and we are going to be reviewing some of their food. So mm -hmm. are you guys ready to go inside? Let's see what the place looks like. they recommend here is the, let's see, the um, captain right here, spotlight captain. So I'm going to get that. I'll be getting. Uh, I also recommend like maybe the country fried steak, see it on the top here, but also the chicken fried steak. The chicken fried steak on the top here. So. I got all these signs here too, like that's a lot of guys, look at all this. They got grilled cheese and stuff too. Yeah. I, think, I think I might actually go with the country fried steak. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I would like the um, uh, catfish meal with um, the sides of uh, seasonal fruit and turnip greens. Catfish fried? Uh, yeah, catfish. Cajun fried. And I like the country fried steak with sides of mashed peas and onion rings. And we're also getting the fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes too. Brown. Mm -hmm. Brown. Fried green tomatoes. We got ranch and chipotle aioli, I think. So, let's try these things out. All right, so, they got the fried green tomatoes. I guess you can see. Two, go. I think that's two. It's okay. All right. Here's what they look like. Those look good. Mm -hmm. yeah, Cheers. Ooh! Hot! Fresh! Ooh! Yeah, they look like it's like... And good! Mmm! Nice, juicy, flavorful. But you can see the steam coming in because they're fresh. Ooh! Not bad. I'm gonna try a little bit of that. Chipotle. You always know this. Mmm. These are very, very flavorful, especially with the sauces. I'd have to give these like an eight, eight and a half out of ten. Let's see. So definitely. Mm. I definitely have these on my plate easily. Mm -hmm. So I might wait for them to like cool off this smidge. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give these eight and a half. Yeah. Like these, these are, are a fun. very famous thing to try them at this place. I don't really know of too many places um, that sell like fried green tomatoes. So this is really really good. See if I like it better with the. Thing. I like it better with this. Mm -hmm. Me too. And just saying, he doesn't like tomatoes, but he likes them when they're cooked. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I've been looking forward to trying these fried Greek tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Maybe bump it up to a nine. I think now. No, eight and a half. Eight and a half. <laughs> All right, so we now have everything here. We got some delicious rolls, and we also have cornbread muffins too. 
And here's your course. You got country fried steak with some, ooh, those look good too. Onion rings, mashed potatoes. <laughs> and I got catfish with tater, uh, sorry, tater sauce, hush puppies, turnip greens, and fruit. So let's dig in, everyone. All right, so let's dig in. So we got turnip greens here. Starting with my onion rings. Mm. This is good onion ring. This is a really good onion ring. Like, seriously, this is a really good onion ring. You can taste the onion. It's actually like breading. Like, a lot of onion rings are really just breading, breading with a little bit of onion. You can actually taste the onion. The turnip greens are pretty good too. Like, with a lot of southern cooking, um, turnip greens are pretty popular. And they're nice, salty. And they are very hot. I said that this place makes their food fresh. It's hot. Quite good. So I would have to give these like a like maybe like seven and a half. Like they're decent. They're good for good. I just like how warm everything is. For the onion rings, I'm gonna give these a nine and because they're a side dish. Nine out of ten. Because basically, these are some of the best onion rings I've had ever. Like the only like side dish, well not only, but very the only like onion based side dish appetizer I remember that I compete with these is the awesome blossom from Chili's they discontinued years ago. And I love that thing. I'd always order it every chance I got. <laughs> got some hush puppies. Look how cute these little things look. And this is tighter sauce. So we're gonna see how it tastes. I'm gonna mm. try some of the mashed cheese and gravy. Inside. Wow. That's like a tire sauce, too. Let's see. Mm. This is definitely a perfectly good, you know, mashed taste of gravy. Like, I love how crunchy those hush puppies were. Like, they're even more flavorful than the ones you'll find at Captain D. Long John Silvers are like seafood poison. It's got a really, really nice flavorful taste. It's warm. I know I keep saying things are warm here, but it's like, this is good. Um, so I would have to give the hush puppies like, I like the, I like how small they are too. It's like perfect size for a size. So I would give them like an eight and a half. For the mashed peas and gravy, that I'm gonna give up a bit of lower. Like, I'll give these about a seven. They're good. Like, I'd add them to my plate. They're a smidge on the salty side. Just a smidge, you know, not creamy. But still, perfectly good. I'd add them to my plate any day. These, though, amazing. Like, I don't even want to add ketchup to them. Because I'm worried that if I did, I'd ruin the onion taste. <laughs> or tartar sauce. Like, of course, tartar sauce is where you go with onion. Keep your tartar sauce away from onion rings. So this is the catfish. Now it's supposed to be like one of the top items here at Pop's Kitchen. Wow. Now this is also a Cajun season two. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. I really like it. The breading is nice and flaky. Fish should cook perfectly inside, you guys can see right there. And a the tartar sauce makes it so whole and well. Now I did put some lemon juice on there too, like it came with the lemon. So it's got like a nice refreshing lemon pepper fish taste to it. I see. I don't know how to describe it. 
We're good. Don't good, worry. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna raise you just a smidge. Actually, I think seven and a half. They're still, you know, like this. You know, kicks these totally. Good, you know, they're bugs. Look at. Also, gonna raise the you know, fried green tomatoes because that sauce was amazing. Like the chipotle one, mm -hmm. really good. One. That goes up to a nine. This is nine easy. I have to rate this fish to a nine. Like, this is good southern fried catfish. And good tartar sauce, too. That really helps enhance the flavor. Especially with the lemon, too. So, I really can, I can really see why the, this is a popular item here. So far, I'm definitely really impressed with all the food. It's really, really good. Now, now I'll be having this one. And of course, I got a Fred's simple steak. fruit cup. And that's because I said to start with the sides and leave what is hopefully the best for last. Mm -hmm. huh? This country fried steak. It's out of case. I definitely like the gravy. It tastes quite good too. The fruit, fruit's definitely really refreshing. Like, nice simple touch inside of this meal. Well, you know who doesn't like eat fruit? I love fruit. Yes, but there's cantaloupes there. Cantaloupe? <laughs> but let's see. Um, I think, I'm not sure why, what it is, but the gravy seems less salty. Maybe it's just because the mashed potatoes are salty. Like, it goes very well with this. Fried isn't bad. Like this fish just pulls apart so easily. I oh, love it. I'm gonna try to take off some of the you know, breading and the gravy for a bit. Because you're gonna taste the inside. Mm. Perfect, perfect. Like, if you guys dip it into the tartar sauce, it's the best thing. Definitely reminds me of a kind of like the you know, steak, which is probably because French fried steak. Mm. Not a bad one. Okay. Not particularly on the juicy side, but it's got a meaty taste to it. I'm gonna rate this. I'm, add, I'm definitely adding it to my plate. This is an eight. An eight out of ten. Come for the fried green tomatoes. Yeah, as well as the onion rings. And feel free to add to some of that catfish. I crystal love so much. I want to mention to you guys that during certain days of the week, they have specials going on too so it's like for example this is Wednesday, Wednesday's special and like they got you know beef liver onions chicken liver steak country ham red beans rice different burgers different wraps they even got a wild burger with mac and cheese in it. that sounds really cool and they also have desserts too thank you and they also have desserts too like um, you know pies cobblers cakes uh, they got soups, they got Reuben sandwiches, Reuben burgers, and um, they got tacos. I think one thing they also have too is they got like milkshakes. So, because your banana pudding is supposed to be really good too. I asked her to you know, mention this especially because what you know shocked me is like every, most restaurants have like a special. They have like 20 options for your special for one day. And that kind of like blows my mind. And they're all as good as this. Frankly, I'm definitely curious to try some of these. Like, there's like a mac and cheese, you know, 
Probably burger with mac and cheese in it. With fried onions and you know barbecue sauce and bacon. That sounds massive. It sounds amazing. Is the one you're looking for? Amazing. <laughs> So you guys, if you're looking for good southern cooking, check out Pop's Kitchen. Yep, especially because they have like a lot of food for a reasonable price. Cool. But I was expecting to say like half that size. Yeah. Like a little bitty roll, you know, like a typical dinner roll. This thing's huge. And this is their cornbread muffins. Those are small, but this is huge. It's like, it's as big as the palm of my hand. I mean, try that just a minute. Now, the cool thing about this place, too, is that it's also family owned and operated. And they've been in business since 1981, so over 30 years. And I mean, yeah, it's just like they have um, come up with a lot of their own dishes here, actually, their own crate. So, really cool and unique to see what they you know, put together. Yeah, like, like I said. 20 options just on the special menu, not the main menu, the special menu. With the pandemic and all, a lot of local restaurants are really hurting. Like, they can't rely on you know, mass market advertisements or like people you know, coming in as much because, well, you know, staying home, you know, using, mat or using masks, people are typically ordering like, you know, standard like big like big name restaurants on so if you're in the Memphis area I ask you know, that if you think that you know southern food is something you enjoy check out Pops Comfort Foods. But anyway guys that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this review of a local Memphis restaurant Top Southern Kimpton Kitchen. If you're in the Memphis area please be sure to stop by and help support this local business. They desperately need it right now and we would greatly appreciate if you did so. And also, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive notifications, and we will see you on the next video. Yep, yep, this is Charles. And Crystal, signing off, we love you. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.